Presbyterian Disaster Assistance is providing emergency relief and short-term recovery to Nepal and the neighboring countries impacted by the massive earthquake and aftershocks. Our mission team has voted to support the rebuilding efforts in Nepal. We gave $1,000 to Presbyterian Disaster Assistance, who will go in for the next couple of years, help build the community with schools and hospitals and infrastructure. We also decided to give $3,000 to Habitat for Humanity Nepal, as they will go with the Jimmy Carter build next year and build quality houses that will be earthquake proof. You too can make a difference. Check out your bulletin or your weekly email, how to support PDA or Habitat for Humanity Nepal. Thank you for giving. The LA Times. My grandma always talks about sitting around and reading the newspaper. Can you imagine? No. And it's really hard to search a topic in a pile of newspapers. Who has time for that? Why do you mention the LA Times? Well, there is a group in the church, kind of like my grandma, that call themselves Young at Heart. I think they are trying to describe their state of mind rather than their age, you know? Anyway, they get together once in a while and take a bus to see some really cool places around LA. And? Grandma was telling me that the next road trip is Tuesday, May 19th, and they're going to the LA Times building. I googled it, and it's really cool. Want to hear? Um, okay. The historic Los Angeles Times building, located at 1st and Spring Street in downtown Los Angeles, opened in 1935 and at the time was the largest building in the western U.S. designed and occupied entirely as a daily newspaper publishing operation. The Globe Lobby is one of the aesthetic highlights of the Times building. Its 10-foot murals were painted in 1934 by Hugo Ballin, who also painted the Griffith Observatory Rotunda and represents some of the finest murals produced in the Los Angeles around during the 1930s. The lobby also includes a historical exhibit showcasing the first 100 years of the times. That sounds cool. My grandma's really excited and there are only 30 spots. I really hope she signs up early. When is it again? Tuesday, May 19th. Details are available when you sign up and you know where to meet. Where you know where to meet, where is lunch, and how much it costs. Maybe I'll go to Starbucks and buy a newspaper just to think about those 100 years of history. Yeah, me too. Oh, hi, Grandma. So, what is VBS? Very busy summer. Vocational beach Sunday. Vote up before sunrise, you know? No, no, no. It's vacation Bible school. Wow, wow that, that sounds, sounds sort, sort of, of fun. fun. Let me tell you, it's tons of fun. This year, the theme is Camp Discovery, and we will get to tell stories, make crafts, and experience Jesus' love through Bible stories. Like learning about courage through the story of David and the giant, Goliath, and God's salvation through a Bible story of fire and three guys with funny names who get saved by God. So who gets to do all this? We are all going to help, along with tons of other volunteers of all ages. Really? Can I help? Sure. Sign up right now so you get to do all the cool stuff like games in the playground rather than washing dishes after snack, right? Yeah. Parents out there, here's the info. Kids and volunteers, sign up now. Grades one through five, June 15th through the 19th, 9 a.m. to noon. The cost is $65 and it will be a blast. Boom! Can people who don't go to BBC come to Vacation Bible School? Oh yeah, the more the merrier. And what a fun way to spend time in church with your friends this summer. VBS. Vacation, Vacation Bible, Bible School! School. Sign up today at bpcusa.org or talk to Matt Zaro. Camp Discovery, Jesus at Work Through Us, coming summer 2015. No longer homeless, Ezzy's mission involves going out with the volunteers to deliver survival kits to others in need. He tells people he meets on the streets his story. He gives them advice and tries to connect, like Tom did when the two friends met a few years ago. He tells people surviving in sidewalk tents that he's been there and that he hopes he caught them at the right moment in their lives to make a difference. Tom, uh, 
He's my friend now, you know. He's like a brother to me. And everybody that I met in that organization through him, I feel like family. They came two feet below the surface where I was. The Alabama native completed college with a degree in sociology and lives in an apartment through the VA subsidized housing program in South LA. He says he's grateful and content with his life. You wouldn't, you didn't see this. It was like, shoot, I can be walking down the street, people will get off the sidewalk fearing that I might, I'm the type of person that might, you know, take off on them any kind of minute, but it's not that, it was just, I be in my own little zone and not caring about nobody else's, not really caring about myself at that moment. Now I'm happy, you know, I can smile, <laughs> a real smile, you know, I can feel a real warm feeling inside.